everyone, how you all doing? And a very Merry Christmas from Al, the Sega Guru. And we are here today with Ian Michael's brand new Christmas collection. And this really is a work of passion. This one's been bumbling along for quite some time now and has got a massive collection of Christmas joy, all for you as a Christmas present for your Sega Dreamcast. It's got games from the Commodore 64, games from the Mega Drive, games from Nintendo systems, and movies as well, and a jukebox. So do you need to be doing anything else on Christmas Day? You should be doing this. Let's check it out. Brought to you by an IMR Technology production, Dreamcast, keeping the dream alive. Oh man, that intro never ever gets boring. It's IMR Technology here, special homebrew collection. All the Christmas cheer you could ever want in one big collection. We got a movie here, we got music, aka a jukebox, we got some, most importantly, games. That's right, and we're going to kick it off first with the movie and see how well this plays. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I've never seen it. So this is it, this is the jukebox portion of the collection, which, by the way, has a lot of the lyrical genius from Ian himself. He's actually quite the singer. I don't think I'd ever be able to match up to his uh, his vocal skills, let's say it, but uh, that's right, it's him singing. As part of the jukebox, there is also the playlist feature. Out of the 11 songs or so that are here, you can play all of them in whatever order you want. You can do that. It's a jukebox. It's set out like that, which is great. Now, most importantly, yes, it's the games you want to check out. And as you can see, there is quite a an array here. Obviously he was taking requests as he was putting this collection together. So we've got games from consoles aka the Sega Genesis, we've got the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo and a couple others including Game Boy and much more and also C64. Now I'm a massive fan of the Sonic ROM hacks, there's quite a few here and also like I said before the Nintendo stuff always plays really, really well anyway. It also includes some Wolfenstein action, some Quake action, which, as you naturally would know, I absolutely love. And it's all here in one nice little package. So let's kick off and let's take a look at Mega Xmas. Now, Mega Xmas is essentially a ski free clone, which I actually think is better than Ski Free. It gives you a nice breakdown of the controls, and when you actually get into the gameplay, it just feels that much responsive and silky smooth than Ski Free. I always had an issue with Ski Free, where I found that I just didn't quite understand the controls, even though they were really, really basic. This one brings it even more basic, but makes it that much playable, if that makes sense. The controls just feel right, the music's great, it's on point, and the game is just really good fun. And that's what games miss a lot of the point time, is the point that it's just meant to be fun. This absolutely is that, and smashed it. Next up, we've got Days Before Christmas. Now this was an Australia own release, PAL release, and I love the way this plays. It even has an advent calendar at the beginning of each level to show the day you're on. And that's right, it's just a simple platformer. 
but it runs so well. I love the sprites. I mean, to be fair, that elf scared the crap out of me the first time I saw it. I thought it was an enemy. No, you've actually got to save those from the little Christmas packages. As well as that, make sure once you do kill an enemy and they drop a box, or a Christmas present, I should say, that you do pick it up. Along the way, though, there are bombs and you want to make sure you don't actually get hit by those and a lot of the time that is in a present you'll just see a bomb drop and you'll be like crap i've got to run yes you do absolutely have to run when you do that next up we've got south park now this is kind of a top down i guess action shooter we'd call it now the music in this certainly sounds familiar. I'm pretty damn certain it's one of the songs from the series. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But hey, this game's actually quite addictive, although very, very hard. Literally, as soon as you get two or three screens in, it does start to ramp up, and you will get hit and die a lot. Now this one here, Pokemon Christmas, is one that I think most of you are absolutely going to love. Anytime we've got Pokemon in a collection, you all go nuts for it. I can understand why. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a massive Pokemon fan, but this one actually adds a lot of lore to the Pokemon universe. So if you are a Pokemon fan, you're really, really going to appreciate this one. Controls are simple as you expect. Let's face it, it's emulating the Game Boy Color. So it's a couple buttons and the up, down, left, right. That's all you really need for a game like this. But this is hours and hours of fun, all in one Christmas bundle. Oh yes, here we go. We're on to Wolfenstein 3D, the Christmas special 2020 edition. Now it does start very much like, you know, the standard Wolfenstein, but once you get into it, Yes, it's Christmas time in the Wolf universe. There's presents everywhere. And in fact, you will have Santa shooting his load, aka his gun loads, all into you. <laughs> oh my god, I crapped myself up. Anyway, yes, make sure to uh, hide from the sands, or, or certainly gun them down. As well as that, there are also robots lurking around. These kind of like robotic little cannons, they're absolutely everywhere. You will know where Santa is though, because he will say ho ho ho. Ho, 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 ho. There you go, right on cue. And like I said, they will absolutely try and gun you down. A lot of them will drop ammo, as always. And really, this doesn't veer away from the standard platform of how Wolfenstein works. It just works and works very, very well. Now on to Xmas Quake. Now there's two Christmas Quake games here. This is the first one we're going to take a look at, which let me tell you, Twisted Xmas is a very, very hard shooter. Now what I would advise is just stay clear of the damn snowmen or put God Mode in. Because if you don't, I think you're going to get stressed very, very quickly. I actually think... I prefer Christmas Quake, because Christmas Quake is essentially the original Quake, but with models very much suited to Christmas, if that makes sense. So, for example, a lot of the enemies are dressed up as Santa, and in fact, the dogs even have a red nose like Rudolph, which I actually find a bit more entertaining, I guess. I just think Twisted Christmas just feels... A little bit too hard. I mean, if you've got to put God Mode on to enjoy it, I just, yeah, I just, that to me takes the fun out of it. Whereas this just dresses up Quake 1 like Christmas with Christmas presents when you drop your, you know, or when the enemies, I should say, drop the rucksacks, that's a Christmas present. To me, that is better and I actually enjoy it a lot more. Now, as well as this, yes, we have some NES titles in here, including the Luigi Christmas game. Uh, and the Christmas quest, I should call it. So, you're not going to get anything much different here than normal. It's just a reskinned, remodeled ROM hack of Mario. I mean, that really is all it is. Don't get me wrong, though, it is difficult. Uh, so, if you're not great or you don't have very quick reflexes, 
just like me, then you're not going to get very far. I've never been good at Mario. I just never have. I didn't grow up with a Nintendo until very later on. Uh, you know, Christ, I'm 36 at the moment, so yeah. <laughs> and I've only really started getting into Nintendo recently. Next up, though, we've got my man Sonic with Sonic Winter Adventures. Now, this is a great ROM hack. I th believe I may have checked this out before. You know, let's face it, all Sega ROM hacks or all Sonic ROM hacks really do have something about them a lot of the time, and this one doesn't disappoint. It's standard Sonic, it's reskinned, new music, and it's wintry. I mean, that's really all you're getting here, but it plays very, very well on the Dreamcast. This one's been optimized to run very, very well. But yeah, rock hard this one. There's enemies thrown at you left, right and centre, so do make sure to pick up the rings, because if you don't, I think you're absolutely going to struggle here. You obviously do also have the save options here as well, as well as return to menu with most of these emulators here. And that's great. So yes, here is some Super Nintendo goodness as well with Santa Mario, a game where you basically have to pick up the present and then drop it in the chimney. Now this actually I found quite challenging. So I think anyone who does play this, at first yes you're going to think okay that's quite a simple premise. But when you actually play it's not that easy. So you've got to hold on to the Christmas gift and then drop it down the chimney. That literally is all it is, but it is certainly hard. Next up, we've got Santa's Workshop to round it all off, or Santa's Worker, I should say, and this is the C64 emulation, just showing you how well this works in this collection. There's some great little games here, so if you're a fan of the C64, it's got you covered. As you can see, this really is a collection that does bring all the Christmas joy from many different systems into the best console of them all. I hope you've liked this nice little look at this collection. Do download it and give it a try yourself. Maybe you've just got a Dreamcast for Christmas. Check it out with that. Obviously want to give a massive thank you to Ian, as always, for the support for my channel. I love what he does. I think he's incredible and he is a true, true friend. Thank you, Ian, and do have a very Merry Christmas yourself and Happy New Year. But to everyone else, as always, thanks for the support. You've been amazing this year as always. We're coming back again bigger in 2024. Have a great one. All the best. It's Al signing out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that, you can also back the channel on Patreon. QR code is down below. But obviously you can check out this video. You can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.